Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for August 20th, 2014. It's currently 4.05 a.m. and it is, well, relatively mild out there this morning as we are starting to finally build that marine air mass into the entire Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area, leading to variable to uh, overcast cloud cover throughout the region. Temperatures this morning range from the lower to mid 60s over the interior and mid-60s in the New York City metropolitan area and upper 60s to lower 70s in the Philadelphia metropolitan area. Temperatures today will rebound pretty much close to near normal levels with uh, high temperatures in the lower to mid-80s for highs this afternoon with broken to overcast cloud cover throughout the entire Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area with a threat for a few showers. Again, not a washout in any way, shape, or form. But uh, definitely a few showers that could produce a heavy downpour too that we'll have to keep an eye on over the next 24 hours. Now, on the latest surface map, you can see that high pressure system finally shifting towards the coastal waters of New England. Meanwhile, we have waves of low pressure approaching and moving basically from the Ohio River Valley and eastern Great Lakes towards the mid-Atlantic coastal waters, basically around Philadelphia. Southern New Jersey, Delaware, and Maryland. One of these low-pressure systems already off the coast, and more low-pressure systems are on the way, as you can see, all the way back into the northern plains. So we definitely have an active weather pattern to deal with here. Now, on the radar, we already have one area of precipitation of rainfall that is moving through western Pennsylvania that will reach the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area this afternoon with some scattered showers. Now, this bark is a lot worse than the actual bite here. There are no severe thunderstorms associated right now and much of this is going to collapse by the time it reaches our neck of the woods but still you could clearly see the disturbances that will bring us the potential for those scattered showers this afternoon and again for tomorrow as we continue this active weather pattern. On the infrared satellite picture you can see high pressure basically holding sway right now, building all the way down into North Carolina. But these disturbances that are approaching from the e from the west will move east, and that's what's going to cause an increase in cloud cover and a threat for showers. On the water vapor satellite picture, we zoom out and look at all North America. You can see the players here really well. This upper level, though, is locked in over the Canadian Maritimes and forces this vigorous disturbance to move to the south of this upper level low. So as a result, it has no choice but to move right over the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. While it's doing so, it will also draw up moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, leading to the threat for showers throughout the region. Again, not a washout, but just you know an unsettled, inconvenient shower here and there today on through the rest of this week as these disturbances continue to rotate through the region. So let's take a look at the latest model guidance from the Penn State EWAL website. For this afternoon, high pressure gives way as clouds continue to increase. Temperatures will rise into the lower to mid 80s. Threat for showers this afternoon. By tomorrow, basically same story here. High pressure is locked in over the Canadian Maritimes, building south. Areas of low pressure passing to the south are going to lead to the threat for scattered showers throughout the region. Otherwise, overcast skies can be expected with winds from the east around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Temperatures will range from the mid to upper 60s for lows tomorrow morning and high temperatures tomorrow only in the upper 70s to lower 80s. For Friday, again, pretty much the same scenario here. High pressure to the north, low pressure to the south, winds from the east, threat for showers, overcast cloud cover can be expected. Temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler because the marine air mass building will be a little bit stronger, a little bit deeper. So we're looking at mid to upper 60s for lows throughout the entire Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. Upper 50s to lower 60s over the northern interior. Now for high temperatures along the immediate coast and also in the New York City metropolitan area, look for temperatures to range from the mid to upper 70s for highs. Meanwhile in the Philadelphia metropolitan area, Temperatures will range from the upper 70s to lower 80s. Same scenario once again will take hold for Sunday and for Monday with high pressure generally in control, but we continue to have that marine influence. Now there's going to be a threat for scattered showers, but again, they're going to become rather 
widely scattered and relatively weak. So I really don't expect any washouts this weekend. If you have weekend plans for any outdoor activities, yeah, it probably won't be sunny, but at the very least, most locations will be dry, with only about a 30 to 40% chance of showers throughout this weekend. Temperatures will range from the lower to mid 60s for lows, high temperatures in the mid to upper 70s for highs in the New York City metropolitan area, in the Philadelphia metropolitan area looking for lower to mid 80s. And then for Monday, same scenario, lower to mid 60s for lows, upper 70s to lower 80s for highs for the entire Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. And then on Tuesday, high pressure continues to hold sway. I'm expecting more sky cloud cover by the time we get to Tuesday, with temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 60s for lows and lower to mid 80s for highs. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and LinkedIn. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.